Happy birthday, Hal. Happy birthday, Hal. Or Harlow. Hey, uh, this is a momentous occasion for you. You're turning 90 and we, well, we might not have done the best thing here. We have 90 candles on this cake. And, and we're lighting the ones on the outside <laughs> first. Yeah. Whoops. Whoa. So we're gonna see if we can do this. But in the meantime, we'd like you to take a look at all these best wishes from people here at Channel 20 who remember you both as Grandpa Harlow and who remember you as Harlow Hickenlooper. So enjoy the show. And, you know, I don't really think this was such a good idea after all. No, but by the time we're done doing this, the video ought to be over. Um, Maybe. Oh, no. What about the, we didn't think about the sprinkler system or the alarm system. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Well, greetings, Hal, and happy birthday from all your friends here at WFYI. We have such fond memories of our association with Hal Fryer, Harlow Hickenlooper, Grandpa Harlow. I will always remember the day, treasure the day that you came to see me about uh, Harlow Hickenlooper becoming Grandpa Harlow hosting the WFYI Kids Club and the run that you had on PBS and WFYI. Uh, thanks for all those great memories. Thanks for the association and uh, we wish you the happiest of happiest birthdays. Hey, Grandpa Harlow. I'm Pam Elliott, but you probably wouldn't remember that name. You might remember Pam Kramer. Yes, I got to do, and we called it the Pledge Drive then. We're changing that to fundraising now. But I got to do the Pledge Drive with you in the 90s. You and I would be in studio, and I do believe you had a little white dog with you. I want to say a Bashan. And we actually were fundraising around the children's programs and we had a ball, at least for me. It was a lot of fun. I was new to Indianapolis and you embraced me and I volunteered my time. Quite frankly, I was looking for a job then and I was looking for a job in 2014 too and I landed here. I'm now on staff here at WFYI and would you believe that I am the producer and the manager of the on-air development campaigns that drives themselves. So I have great memories of my volunteer time here under the leadership of Lloyd Wright, who's still in charge, which delights me. Um, but I had a lot of fun with you. So thank you and a special happy birthday to you. Happy. Hi, good morning, hello, and how are you? Here's my good friend Curly to say howdy to. I grew up watching Harlow Hickenlooper. What a special, special place you have in our hearts. Happy, happy birthday. Happy. Hi, Hal, this is Dave DeMumbrin. I've known you since the Channel 6 days or at least on TV I did, and then afterwards I had the honor of knowing you in person. I wish you a very happy birthday, and I miss you, want to talk to you, but uh, a lot of people do. So thanks again, I'll see you later, bye. Hello Hal, Gary Harrison here, wishing you another in a long and always getting longer string of very happy birthdays. Happy birthday! Hi Hal, happy birthday. My name's Steve Jensen. I worked at WFYI in the background for a number of years. I had the privilege of working with you when you were uh, Grandpa Harlow here at the station. Also, I've been a big fan of yours over the years. I know you from Harlow Hickenlooper, your uh, TV show. I also know that uh, Bill Shatner was on your show and once he appeared on your show that the ratings on Star Trek really started to take off. Nobody's ever thought of getting a balloon up in this manner. I know that you played Johnny Ringo in The Outlaws is Coming. <laughs> if Greg Peck had seen your performance, his uh, Jimmy Ringo might have been even better than what uh, it was. 
And I also know that uh, Lauren Green, who's, who wrote the song and sang the song, Johnny Ringo, took it off of your performance. Happy birthday. Hi, Hal. Happy birthday. I'm Mike Perry. We've worked together a few times at WFYI. And uh, got to thinking about a movie you did several years ago called uh, The Outlaws is Coming with the Three Stooges and a, a not yet Batman Adam West. Uh, that was that could have been a big opportunity for you if the movie had been bigger. I mean, you could have graduated to being a, you know, a Batman villain or at least a henchman. Happy birthday, Hal. Grandpa Harlow. Hal, as a baby boomer, you've been a big part of all of our lives. We want to wish you the happiest of birthdays. Happy birthday! Hal, I known you since before I needed glasses, so uh, I just wanted to wish you a very happy 90th birthday and many, many more, and I hope you're doing well. We miss you up here. To you. I'm Jim Simmons, and I'd like to wish a happy 90th birthday to Hal Fryer, also Harlow Hickenlooper. You know, Hal, um, you were always a continuing source of amazement to me because I go, I shouldn't really admit this, but I go way back to the Hoosier Hank days. I was in the studio audience then as a kid and then also for the show with you and Curly. And it was always absolutely fascinating to me to go down to the Channel 6 studios and see how everything was done. And then, I'm, I'm almost embarrassed to admit, I would watch you from time to time even, even as I got older because the way you did things, even though you were playing to a very young audience, cracked up the teenager in me. You were always very funny, always very witty, and always just a hoot to watch. So thanks for all you did for us as kids and a happy 90th to you. Thank you for all the joy you've brought us through the years. May your birthday be fabulous because you are. I'm Lolly Ramey and gosh, Harlow, I get to talk to you for the first time in my life and I just have something wonderful to say to you and that's happy, happy birthday, happy. Nobody sings it like Harlow does. Cut. Happy birthday. Hey Hal, I want to wish you a happy 90th birthday. Uh, I was uh, one of your followers back in the early days, but then I also got to work with you here at WFYI. I just have one little remembrance uh, that I wanted to pass along to you. Uh, J. Robert Cook, myself, and you went out to the state fairgrounds back when you were Grandpa Harlow here at WFYI, and we were making our way around the track, and I could see kids uh, looking at you and going, oh, look, it's Grandpa Harlow. But I could also see parents of those kids saying, oh, look, it's Harlow Hickenlooper. So anyway, Hal, happy birthday. Hey, Hal, this is Don Hibschweiler. Probably remember me from Lafayette. We had uh, breakfast or brunch together uh, with um, Curly Myers. And I have a picture of that. You know, I always treasure that too from uh, late in the previous century. But I've heard you're 90, which is hard to believe, but Happy birthday, and thanks a lot for all you did here for us in Indianapolis. You are happy. Ready? Oh. Start. Happy birthday to We love you, Hal. <laughs> On this occasion of your birthday, this lovely lady is not only punctitudinous, but punctual. Marilyn Monroe. Happy birthday, Mr. Higginlooper. Happy birthday to you. Well, happy birthday, Hal or Harlow. As you can see, we've got quite a birthday celebration going, and we hope you enjoyed all the best wishes from all of us here at Channel 20. We love you. Whoa, guys. What you got going on here? Well, it's Harlow Hickenlooper's 90th birthday party. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Who's he was that? the best. You, you don't know him? Well, Grandpa then. Grandpa Harlow? You don't remember Grandpa Harlow? I know You Kate. don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know cake, but you know when you celebrate Harlow's birthday, it's you don't with... celebrate it with cake. Really? It's no. with pie! pie. Happy birthday, Harlow. Hope it's a great one. Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs>